Hi guys, so today I have a huge haul from e.l.f. Um, these are products I ordered online and these are actually from three separate orders. Um, a lot of these products actually came from their Cyber Monday sale, so as you guys can see, it was a long time ago, but I was, these weren't sent to my home here, they were actually sent to a different address, so finally I got these products in my hands, so I would definitely post swatches of these products. Um, on my Beautylish page, which I will link down below for you guys, um, because there's so many products to go through, I don't know if I'm going to have enough time to do swatches of everything, so I will just do swatch pictures instead. So let's get started. So I've organized all these products into different categories, um, just so that it's easier to show you guys, and yes, I do have something from every category. Um, so the first thing I picked up were makeup brushes. Now, I got a bunch of brushes, which um, some of them are still not here yet. Um, but they had a special collection, and they had these uh, bling brushes. So these are brushes that have just gemstones decorated all over the brush. I absolutely adore these. Um, I actually wanted a set in pink, but they were sold out. Um, this I did get on the Cyber Monday sale. They also come in. They came in purple and this um, silver, like white bling. Um, so I got two brushes here so far. I got a blush brush. Um, which is like this. So this is actually quite small. It's not as um, soft as it, I would like it to be, but I think this brush is actually good for contouring just because of the angle. Um, and then this is an eyeshadow brush, which is extremely soft. Now, I highly, highly recommend their e.l.f. $1 eyeshadow brushes. They are a dollar, but they're of really good quality. And these bristles, I actually find, are a bit softer than their $1 line, but these brushes, I believe, are $3 a piece. Um, I also got the highly coveted e.l.f. powder brush. Now this is from their Pro line and this brush is extremely soft. Like I kept touching it when I got this. Um, this brush is $3 and you can use this for powders and also foundations. Um, it's a really extremely dense brush so there's a lot of reviews of this brush on um, the uh, YouTube community so you guys can check out those but this is really, really, really uh, pretty much like exactly what people play it out to be. So this is a good brush and I'm excited to start using it. Um, another brush I got was a e.l.f. stipple brush. Now this brush was also from their Pro line. Um, this is definitely not as dense as the powder brush as you guys can see. And um, I'll definitely try this out. I don't really wear liquid foundation, but you can also stipple on like cream blush. So that is something that I actually do have. Um, and I saw some from this haul as well, so I'm excited to use this. This brush was also $3. Um, I also got an e.l.f. brush from the Eco line. So this is an eco-friendly brush, and this is their e.l.f. blending brush. Um, actually, this is supposed to be all white, but I did use it this morning for my eyes. Um, so as you can tell, I already really like this brush because it's actually got really long blending bristles, and this is actually a really nice, soft, dense brush, and it's just the right size for into your crease to blend your eye makeup out, so this is a good brush. I believe this is $3 as well. Um, so the next product I'm going to show you guys are face products. So I picked up their e.l.f. Corrective Concealer, um, which basically has these four colors inside, so you get a, um, a light kind of beige color, a green to correct resonance, a pink to correct for brightening, and then a darker um, face color. Now, I already own this palette. I find that the green and red are actually pretty good in this palette. Um, it's really good for correcting, um, and I do use the pink one underneath my eyes before my concealer just to brighten it up. Um, this is also from their Pro line. I believe this is also a $3 product. Um, so for the first time ever, I actually got some pressed powder. Now, I don't really wear pressed powder because I wear um, translucent powder over my foundation, but I decided to give this a try because it was $3. So this is in the color Porcelain, which is probably one of the lightest colors. And actually, when I swatched this, this is actually pretty much my skin tone. So this is how um, fair-skinned I am. And it actually comes with a uh, powder sponge underneath, um, which I probably won't use. I'll just use a brush for this, like probably my powder brush or something smaller. Um, so I actually like this compact. I actually really like the e.l.f. packaging. I think they actually have pretty good quality packaging for like a cheap line. Um, I also picked up the e.l.f. Golden Bronzer, and it's got this four quad bronzer in here. It's got, and this is one of the lighter tones, just because I'm so fair skinned. Um, this is in the color Golden, so they actually have a couple of shades of this inside, and it just comes in this nice compact here. Um, again, $3. 
Um, I also picked up their e.l.f. High Definition Powder, which I've heard a lot of good things about. Like, people actually are saying this is quite um, good compared to like Makeup Forever and that's the one that I use. I absolutely love that. It makes your skin so soft and it holds your makeup and oiliness for the entire day. Um, so I definitely would give this a try. It comes in this huge packaging here and you actually get a little sponge which I think is so cute. Um, so this was $3. I think this was actually $6 if I was correct. Um, but I think for the Cyber Monday everything was 50% off so I got this for $3 I believe. Um, so then next I got this cream blush here from e.l.f. and this is in the color Flirt. Um, it's just a really pretty bright pink color. I think this color is actually pretty similar to uh, my MAC one and this is a cream blush and it's actually got some nice color in it. Um, it's quite bright so I'll definitely do swatches for you guys, butter swatches, and this is a fairly pink blush, um, so I'm excited to use this. Um, I really think the packaging is really big because this is all you're getting for product, but they've just got huge packaging, so yeah, Elf needs to kind of save on packaging. Um, I also got two regular blushes from Elf, um, one in Twinkle Pink, which is this color here. It's a really pretty kind of peachy pink color. They're both really, really shimmery. Um, and then I also got Fuchsia Fusion, which is a more purpley kind of pink color with a lot of sparkle in it, so I'm excited to use these. I don't have blushes of these colors, um, but I really love Pinky Peach blushes because I think they match my skin tone really, really well. Um, I also picked up two nail products. Um, they're both the same. This is um, the e.l.f. nail polish in the color Nude. I got two bottles of these. These are only a dollar when I got these. Um, I know right now on their site, I believe these are about $2 now, so they've actually upped the prices because I guess the line's gotten more popular. Um, this is that it's a new and improved formula, so I'll have to give these a try. I really love the color Nude. I already own this. Um, and I think these ones actually look a bit bigger. Like, the old polishes used to be slightly smaller, um, but we'll see how the new formula works. Because I already really love the old formula. I find that if you use a top coat and a base coat, it actually stays on for about a week and a half, so it's not really bad. It's a good quality nail polish for such a cheap price. Um, I also got the shimmer palette. I wasn't too sure where I wanted to put this with either like eyes or face because this is a shimmer palette that you can use for anything. So this is what it looks like here. Um, you get these four colors. Um, basically a white, a light pink, a champagne color, and a darker pink. But actually when you use the shimmer palette, all the colors come out the same. They do have pretty a good shimmer and it comes with a tiny little brush that I don't really use. Um, these shimmers I actually just use them on my eyes in my inner eye, like in my inner corner of the eye to give it a little bit of definition. This again was $3 from their Pro Line. And um, I also got their eyebrow kit. This is in the color Dark. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I actually really like this eye kit only for the wax, which is on this side here, and then you get a powder. I think the powder is way too red. It's got like a terracotta red kind of color in it. It clashes against my skin tone, and it does not work for my eyebrows, but the dark brown wax is something that I use every single day for my eyebrows. I love it. Um, it just makes my eyebrows stay on much longer, and then I'll fill it in with a different... Um, powder. So I also got their custom eye kit um, eyeshadow because I actually have one of these compacts. I broke this so I had to throw it away before. Um, this is in the color Moon Dust. Just a really pretty kind of dark brown champagne -y color. Um, I also got one of their single eyeshadows. I never tried these before but it comes, it, I got it in the color Pebble which is kind of a brown kind of color. It's got shimmer in it as well so. Um, the next thing I got was something that was pretty exciting. I was really excited to get this, and it's their 32 um, eyeshadow kit from ELF. This one was on sale from Cyber Monday. I believe this was only um, either $10 or $5, I don't remember. So it comes with 32, this is natural colors here. Um, actually, it has a bunch of natural colors, and then it's got some bright colors, so I really like this because it goes from really light and then brown to, like, red tones. Uh, it's got every color, like, grays, blacks, um, blues, and greens, so I will definitely swatch this one for you guys, um, but I actually swatched all these colors last night, and I found that a lot of them are actually pretty highly pigmented, and then some of the more neutral tones, like the brown sets, some of them actually aren't as um, aren't as 
uh, colored as I would like it to be. So this kit kind of is a win-lose kind of situation here, but I will definitely do swatches for that. So pretty excited to play with this. Um, I also had another palette that I ordered that I don't have here yet, um, but I was excited for that one too. And lastly, I got a ton of lip products. Um, so I picked up two of the e.l.f. matte lip color, and these are like matte lip color crayons. Um, I got this one here in the color tea rose. So they just look like this and you just twirl them up. And I did try both of these yesterday, so these are really nice colors. Um, I'll just do a swatch for you here. So it's got it's this nice kind of slightly darker new with a kind of a, a purple undertone to it. Um, this is tea rose, and it is really matte. Um, this is in the color neutral, or sorry, natural. I do really like this color. It's kind of a pinky natural color, um, a little bit mauvey, but I think this one actually I like more than the tea rose right now on my hand. Um, these both were, I believe, three dollars, and then I got these for fifty percent off. Then I also picked up uh, two of these Hyper Shine glosses. Um, I picked up this one in the color Fairy, so it's just a really light, kind of luminescent uh, nude peach color. So you don't get a lot of product in these, but I believe these are only a dollar. Um, I also got it in the color Joy. It's another pearlescent pinky color, so two colors that I'm really excited to try. And I also picked up a Lustrous Liquid Lipstick. So this is the first time I've tried one of these products. And it's got like a sponge tip applicator here, and this is in the color Baby Lips. So it's actually matte. Um, it's got no shimmer in it. It's just a pinky nude. So I was excited for that because I noticed a lot of the off colors are actually shimmery. Um, like even their 32 palette, it's actually all shimmery. There's not, there's like two matte colors in it. Um, I also picked up two of the glossy glosses, and these are from their Pro line. Um, I got this in this color, Wild Watermelon. I absolutely love this color. It's like a hot pink coral color. Really, really pretty. Um, and they've actually got brush applicators, just like this. So these kind of packaging I love. It reminds me a lot of the um, Revlon Lustrous Lip, uh, lip Glosses. And I got this color in Funky Fuchsia. So it's a darker kind of wine fuchsia color. So I'm excited to try that as well. Um, I also picked up one of their Mineral Lipsticks. Um, in the color Runway Pink. This is what it looks like. It's quite a neutral color. Um, and this is what it looks like swatched here. So, to me, these colors are actually still a little bit more darker than neutral just because I'm so fair-skinned. Um, but it's like a really pretty orangey kind of, um, nude. And then I also got the $1 lipstick in the color Classy. Now, I heard from Emily Noel that this is a dupe for, Cla uh, for Angel, for Max Angel. And this is a very nude kind of color. I actually did own Max Angel, but I accidentally lost it somewhere. Um, so it's a really pretty pinky mauve color. Um, the packaging obviously isn't as nice as their mineral lipsticks, but this is only a dollar. So I also picked up two of their conditioning lip balms. Um, I picked it up in Peaceful Pink. These come in these huge jars, which is kind of wasteful product because there's only that much product in it. Um, and it's this color here. It's a really pretty kind of pinky, kind of corally color. These actually do have a little bit of smell to it, but it smells like candy. Just, it, yeah, it doesn't smell gross. Um, the other color I got was, I believe, Mellow Melon. Yes. And then it's darker, kind of orangey pink. So I thought these two were really pretty. Um, so that is actually all the products that I got from e.l.f. Um, I have, again, more products that I'm still waiting for them to come, so I'll definitely do swatch, swatches of these products and show you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy this haul, and um, always keep your eye out for e.l.f. products because they always have a lot of promotions going on on their websites, um, a lot of free shipping, a lot of deals, and a lot of gift with purchases. So um, I actually highly recommend a lot of their products, um, which you guys can find on my review page on beautylish.com. Um, they actually have very high quality products for such cheap prices, so definitely something to look into, especially if you're starting your makeup kit or if you're just getting into the world of makeup and you're not too sure what to buy or what you really want to invest in. This is kind of a good trial and error kind of product line, so I highly recommend e.l.f., which is eyeslipface.com. Um, so thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.